hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Corinne and this is my garden guys today I'm taking you guys to harvest my pepper guys those pepper are so ripe a lot of them are ripe so I want to take you guys and let's harvest some pepper guys today is pepper day so let's guys let's go harvest some pepper keep watching guys yes guys look at those pepper <laughs> let me show you guys guys see that a lot of them are ripe already so much of them are ripe so i need to harvest them and i also want to show you guys how i preserve the peppers yes guys look at those peppers everywhere they are all ripe guys look at that yeah so much of them are ripe so guys we're gonna harvest them right now yes guys look at this one this other side <laughs> guys so much pepper they are all so much to be harvested guys a lot of them we need to harvest so i need to harvest them today and preserve them guys yep look at those carolina reapers yes guys let's harvest some pepper yes guys i'm wearing my gloves because this pepper are very hot pepper so i'm gonna wear some of my gloves Oh, I love some of it. Yes, guys. It's a very, very hot pepper. I'm trying to wear my gloves. I told you guys this place, and they always cut, they're always cutting trees and all kinds of stuff here, yeah, guys. Always this big noise here. Always cutting trees. I live in a township. I live in a township. Yeah. So people do in a township, people do anything they want. Yep. When you live in a in a in a, in a um suburb like or town before you cut like in a in a city, before you cut anything you need to take permission. But when you live in a township, you can cut anything you want, do anything you want. Yes, guys. These are those purpose, so many of them. Let me show you guys look at this it's just one pepper just one bucket one little two gallon bucket look at this yes guys there's so much pepper here today let me keep harvesting <laughs> look at this one hi i started harvesting this bucket very early and she was harvesting them to cook a lot let's see yes, you have a lot of pepper in there guys Look at those pepper. Yeah. I've have it just one two three four bucket look at that it's already full in this container guys
Yes, guys, I've only have see just four or five of my bucket is already full right there. Guys, see that? It's already full. <laughs> the whole thing is full. Yes, guys. So I need to start with another container again. Just like that. Wow. Guys, remember I told you guys some of this. My bucket are just like two gallon bucket, two gallon bucket, guys. Just two gallon. Look how the gallon is. That's the gallon, guys. And you have all this pepper in it, guys. All this pepper. Don't be afraid to grow stuff. You can grow anything, guys. We can grow everything. If you buy something in the market that you use and you like, keep the seed, guys. That's how you collect seeds. Keep the seed. If you buy pepper that is hot and you like it, keep the seed. That's how you collect seed, guys. This is my pepper. I went to a farm and I harvest ghost pepper and Carolina Reaper. Guys, I kept the seed. Even my habanero, when I use something that I like, I keep the seed. I dry them. Yes. I told you guys one pepper, if you take seed out of one pepper, you can grow thousands, thousands of pepper. Just one pepper, guys. Guys, look at that. My, my second container is full. <laughs> the second container is full, guys. I have to go take another container, guys. There's so much pepper. I haven't even go. I'm halfway done, but I still have a lot to go, guys. Guys, let me show you guys this bed. Look at that. Guys, just look at it. Look at the container, guys. Maybe it's like seven inches tall. I bought this container from Dollar Store, guys. Look at the pepper. They are everywhere. Look at that. It's just loaded. Loaded, guys. Loaded with pepper. Yes, guys. Loaded. I just want to show you guys that. Guys, I feel the second container is almost to the top. This is the third one, not the second, the third. Guys, yeah, see that? Yeah, this is the third container, guys. And guys, I forgot to tell you guys, when you're harvesting pepper, when you're harvesting pepper, make sure, be careful. Pepper branches are very fragile, guys. So when you're harvesting, be very careful not to break the branches. Yes. They are very fragile. Little mistake, you break them. Yes, guys. I'm done harvesting for today. Guys, there are still a lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. A lot. I've not even harvested half that are left. There's so much pepper left that's supposed to ripe. There's so much of it, guys. Yes, there's so much. Yes, guys. These are my harvests. Yes. These are my harvests, guys. Look at that. Look at this container. Yes, guys. We have this one. Look at that. 
And then we have this. These are my Carolina Reaper. I try to separate them. I try to separate them from the other ones because Carolina Reaper is very hot. So while you're using it, you got to be careful. And I also take note that they are prone to disease. It's like they easily, you know, attract disease a lot, guys. Yes. Those are my Carolina Reapers, guys. Right there. Yeah, guys so let me show you guys how i process my pepper guys yes guys first i wash the pepper first i wash my pepper here Yes, guys, after we wash it like this, I'm going to keep it to dry a little bit before I, I, I put them in a um, um, Ziploc bag. Yes, guys, just let them sit and dry a little bit. Pepper is one of the um, food, vegetable that stores very well in your freezer, guys. You don't need to do blanching on them. They just store them like this. They will stay there. They keep their color, their shape for months. So long as the freezer is on, those pepper will keep their color and their shapes for even a year will still be the same, guys. Yes, guys. When it's very dry a little bit, and then I will just start putting it in a Ziploc bag, guys. It's very easy to process pepper. Very easy. It do well in your freezer, guys. This is the most easiest thing to freeze. It doesn't change its color. doesn't change. It keeps its shapes. Yes. Easy to process your pepper. Yes, guys. You just put them in a ziplock like that. Yes, guys. I put them like this. And I'm going to write on it pepper. Hot pepper. Just like that, guys. That's how you process your pepper. You process them, you freeze them. Very easy. Guys, you guys see how it's good to grow your own food? Look at that place that I just harvested. And I haven't even harvested half of my pepper, guys. And I have this much pepper. This much pepper, guys. Very important. I just want to encourage you guys. Grow your own food. Grow your own food, guys. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed what will come out of your garden. What will come out of your garden, guys? Look at this pepper. Yes. I can be one here. I don't buy pepper. Even two. By the time I harvest all this pepper, my pepper can be in that season for two years. I will not bother about pepper, guys. And these are very hot pepper. So you don't use a lot of it, guys. Yeah, this is how you process them. You put them in zebra like this. And you put a white hot pepper on them, guys. Yes, guys. I'm done processing them, putting them in a Ziploc bag. Guys, it gave me seven and a half. Seven and a half of um, a gallon of a, a Ziploc. Look at that. Seven and a half, guys. It's a lot of pepper. Yes, guys. A lot of pepper. Look at that. Just one harvest. And this is a I think this is the fourth time I've harvesting. I've given like three people the pepper I share with people. 
this is a big harvest for me this is the first time i'm harvesting for myself but i've harvested for a lot of people and i also have the carolina reaper right there so he gave me seven bags and this carolina reaper guys yes guys look how beautiful it is to grow your own stuff guys i just want to challenge you guys grow your own food when we, we try to buy property guys let's buy property that have a little land when we are building our house, let's think about growing our food. That house can be paying himself by you growing your food. When you grow your food, you save money, guys. You save money. Yes, don't just leave the land there and just be cutting grass. Use part of it to grow your own food. You, yeah. You'll be surprised, guys. I've experienced something that I was not ready for. Yes, I just started my garden like a joke, but look at this. Look at this, guys yes it's very important guys thank you guys for watching please if you like this video do not forget to give me a thumbs up guys do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell guys so when i upload a new video you'll be notified thank you guys so much if you are a new subscriber yeah i welcome you welcome to karen's family if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you for keep coming back thank you for keep watching Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.